Hi everyone, welcome to Be Strong and Love Yourself, a channel for very strong people. I'm Dasha Bisali and I created this channel to share some information about positivity and self-development. Today I want to talk about fears, for example when you are stressed because you are afraid of losing something or someone. And uh, when we are stressed, usually we activate sympathetic nervous system. And when you, it is the system is activated, your brain doesn't work um, as well as, uh, for example, when you are calm, when your parasympathetic nervous system is activated. And um, if you can think of it as of a scale, um, so right here there is panic, then um, you can get highly stressed, stressed, alert, and calm, and then. So this is the part of the scale of sympathetic nervous system. And then you can be calm and you can be drowsy, sleepy, sleeping and in coma. So if you want to make a good decision, you want to be kind of alert and calm. And uh, when you are scared, when you are afraid of, of something, you usually are somewhere in here. So you want to get to the perfect balance between your systems. Um, in order to make good decisions. And uh, that's why it's better to take pause, first of all. The other thing you can do is you can use a specific breathing technique. And um, I actually have this technique uh, by nature, and I know some animals have it uh, built into them. And um, sometimes you probably do it also unconsciously. It happens to me when I cry, and crying is my first response uh, to fear. So when I'm afraid of something, I usually cry. And after I cry, after sobbing, I do two inhales, little inhales, and long exhale. And uh, I found out recently that it's actually the breathing technique that can help you to activate your parasympathetic nervous system. So it looks like this. So this way, if you do breathing this, like this, breathing exercises, you can help yourself to calm down. The other thing you can do is you can take a, a walk, and if it's possible, of course, and sometimes in the middle of the night, probably you cannot do it, but if it is possible, you can take a walk and you can also look at horizon, something that is far away from you. And uh, this forward movement combined with this vision can help you to reduce the activity of amygdala, which is responsible for fears. This is the part of brain that uh, creates fears. So forward movement, walking and looking at horizon can also help you to reduce stress. The other thing that I want to highlight is that um, sometimes when we experience uh, discomfort caused by fear, the first thing we want to do is to numb, numb this fear and we can use alcohol or, or drugs for that. And uh, unfortunately, if you do that, you can actually become addicted and you, you can develop a habit. Oh, every time I feel uncomfortable, I drink. Every time I feel uncomfortable, I use drugs. And your brain will um, get used to this pattern and then you will do it unconsciously and uh, you can actually become alcoholic or something like that, drug addict. So try to avoid this type of tools like alcohol or drugs when you are afraid of something. The other thing we can do when we're afraid, we like to ask for help. And I know that sometimes it is impossible to solve problems by yourself. But I also want to encourage you to try to calm down first and to handle difficult situation by yourself if it's possible. I understand sometimes it is just impossible, we get too stressed. But if you can, try to handle the situation by yourself 
and then call your friend or family member and um, tell them hey i had this stressful event and i was able to handle it and share your victory with others you will help other people to believe um, in themselves and their potential by sharing your experience and also you will train your brain to go through difficult situations by yourself and then it will be easier for you to do it uh, in the long run and the future and um, the last very important thing uh, that i wanted to mention i actually forgot <laughs> what it was just a second my notes um oh okay <laughs> and the last thing which is very important is if you cannot control the situation that you are afraid of try to switch your focus on something else example um, last summer in 2020 my family members so they got COVID and they were admitted to the hospital and my family is in russia i'm in us I couldn't uh, go there and even if I, you know, go to Russia, I still would not be able to help my family members. I would not be able to go to the hospital and visit them. And I was extremely scared because I love all my family to death. And to me, each and every person in my family is very important. And I felt very helpless and scared. And I tried to do something else i tried to focus on my work and my blog and my classes to study and um, this creates some sense of control and your brain doesn't really understand in what area you have control and um, if you create sense of control in one area it helps you to overcome difficulties in another area so when you feel stressed and you have fears over the situation that you cannot control, try to switch your focus to the, situ to the things that you can control and try to prove yourself that you can still be productive and you can still work on some of your goals, your self-development and things like that. It also will help you to feel more confident and more calm. So these are my things and uh, let me just sum up uh, first. Uh, remember that when you are stressed it is very hard to make a good decision so first of all try to calm down and uh, try to use breathing technique uh, two short inhales one long exhale the other thing you can do is you can take a walk and uh, just look uh, somewhere you know at horizon something not very close to you then uh, try to handle situation by yourself first if it's possible and um, if you don't have any control over the situation that you are afraid of try to switch your focus on things that you can control i also want to say that it is extremely normal to feel fear it is normal to be scared we sometimes perceive these feelings um, as something bad but these are just signals um, you know our body our brain they try to tell us that something is wrong and um, don't uh, be afraid of fears because sometimes we create even more problems just because we are afraid to be afraid fear is normal everyone experiences it this is life and you can handle it 99% of the time. And um, in the end, I wanted to say that, you know, I got this lipstick and I cannot decide if I can use it, if I like it or not. <laughs> and uh, if you have some ideas about it, you can let me know in comments. Um, do you think it's okay to wear this type of lipstick on the first date or it's more like second date or third date? or maybe i shouldn't even wear this lipstick i know it's out of topic but this is something that i have on my mind so thank you so much for watching this video and um, i hope you will take care of yourself i hope this was helpful and please be strong and love yourself love wins always <laughs>